Yo, what's good? Welcome back to the channel, y'all. And look, look, look. With OPO8 on the horizon for the West, yes, we'll be getting OPO8 very, very soon. I think it's time we actually do a tier list for OPO8 for the West. I'm gonna have to keep it a stack of you. This next sec that's coming out after OPO7 is gonna shake up a whole bunch of things and that's a fact, not an opinion. Let's go ahead and get straight into this tier list. But before we start, you guys see the tiers at the top. We got Shice, we got A1, we got Brazy, we got Cold and Dog Water. If you guys wanna simplify this list a little bit better, if you guys don't know what any of my rankings really mean, S is tier one or really it's just tier zero. S is tier zero, A1 is tier one, Brazy is tier two. Cold tier three and dog water is just absolutely trash. Know your fucking place, trash. Fucking robots. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. The only decks you guys see down here are the decks that have actually topped so far in the OPO8 meta. So if your deck's not on here, it has not had any tournament showings at all in OPO8. So uh, I don't know what to tell you. It just sucks to suck. First deck we have right here is Doflamingo. Boo, Doflamingo. I don't think it really got any buffs with OPO8, but just being able to swarm the field is very, very strong, especially underneath a very, very good pilot. I feel like in order for this deck to really work well, you need to have, you know, a really, really good understanding of how this deck works, when or to when not to use this leader ability to swarm out the field because if you swarm out the field too much and you run out of gas, you can pretty much lose. So I feel like you really just need a skilled pilot to run this. I'm gonna have to put this at B, maybe at the bottom of B, really. Next deck we have right here is Zoro. There is a couple of Zoro toppings in OPO8 right now in the East, but it's really only two. I feel like it was a really niche thing to do. It's just a rush down deck, red, typical deck. You guys know what Zoro does in my personal opinion. I would really just still put it cold. Even though it does have a win, I feel like it's just is not as strong compared to any of these other decks that we have out right now. Next deck we have is R Green Law. I feel like R Green Law is actually really good. If you guys did not know, R Green Law got a couple of buffs with OPO8. I forgot the name of the cards, but it was a couple of red slash green cards that it got to propel this deck to the next level. So if you are a red green law and you are not playing OPO7 right now, red green law is something very, very good to invest in because like I said earlier, once OPO8 does come out and is released, you guys are getting more support to push this deck even further. And also with the RP Law band coming, actually, I'm not even gonna talk about that right now. We'll, we'll get to RP Law when we get to it. But once that deck is actually removed, this deck becomes even stronger. It's getting buffs in the next set, OPO8. It has some tournament winnings in the East. Like I said earlier, if you haven't played OPO7, you're not a fan of OPO7, you're waiting to OPO8, I, hey, go ahead and sit it out and go on the sim and just play OPO8 with the new support R Green Law brings to the table because I'm gonna tell you right now, it's shisty as hell and that's a fact, not an opinion. Facts. <laughs> Next deck we have here is Purple Luffy. I feel like Purple Luffy is the back of A. With all the new purple cards that just came out with Black Amira, uh, I think it's the new Lin Lin card uh, with Kaido and Lin Lin, and then just the 10 drop as well. Just all the new purple cards that just came out in OP08. I feel like Purple Luffy is now back on the menu, okay? I feel like it's the back of A1 that does have a couple of tops, or it might actually just be the best of B. I feel like it might be just the best of B because A1, we do actually have a lot of good decks in A1 just from tournament toppings. But as a whole, just like Dofi, a lot of these decks in B, I feel like you just need to be a skilled pilot to be able to compete with the A1 and Shiesty decks, okay? So if you are Shiesty and you do know how to, you know, you have some uh, card work, some handwork when it comes to the card, with your deck you can really take the tournaments by storm by the time opo 8 comes out and you know with all the new purple support that just purple got luffy is still another thing to choose or have a choice from when it comes to opo a very very good deck and it just needs a skill pilot like i said earlier so like brazy you really just need a skill pilot to be able to compete with the a decks yamato does have a top but i think it was a fluke okay i feel like yamato is probably the worst deck in c Yamato is just not that good, man. The power creep is actually crazy. Yellow didn't really get any cards in OPO8 like that. 
to really boost this to the next level. It's really using a lot of cards from OPO6 to OPO7 still. It has a turn topping, but if I have to keep it a stack, I feel like Yamato is still in C. It's just so, like, like when you play against Yamato, you know what to do against it, okay? Stop its attack, put out blockers, especially if you put out blockers, this deck pretty much folds. And a lot of decks nowadays have a lot of great blockers, such as Marco and just Black in general, just to be able to always have blockers on the field. So Yamato, I have to put it at the back of C. And now is obviously, obviously the best deck of the format. <laughs> I mean, it definitely is. I'm just playing with y'all. And now, as you guys know, it's YGOD, Yella Ganga Die, YGOD, and that's on the gang, man. <laughs> Shout out to all my delinquents. You already know how we get down, but you know, I'm not gonna play favoritism. I feel like it is still in the, it's an A. I feel like it's probably the second best in A, maybe third, depending on who the pilot is. We didn't really get any new cards in OPO8. We're still using the same cards, OPO6, OPO7. And I'm gonna just keep it a stack with you. And now, if you're looking for a deck that's really just gonna hold you for, you know, time and time again, kind of like how Whitebeard is. And now might be something you might, guys might wanna keep on practicing and picking up because even looking at OPO9, and now still might be a thing, but we have to see how Blackbird or Robin destroys this deck when the OPO9 comes out. So, but an OPO8 is still very, very good, very viable. And, you know, if you haven't picked it up, go ahead and pick it up, bro. I feel like yellow is one of the best colors in the game in my opinion next deck that actually got a crazy boost i feel like it may be in the back of a is purple red luffy very very good with all the new support cards that did came out being able to ramp up and also rush down your opponent is very very strong i'll tell you right now the new purple cards that came out for opo8 really just propelled a lot of these purple decks to the next level man very very strong deck it does have a couple of tournament winnings i feel like it's not in b i feel like it's stronger to be outside of b and brazy i feel like it might be in the back of a very very strong deck and the them just using and abusing those new purple cards that came out opio 8 puts it on another level so you can't really go wrong with red purple luffy gecko moria gecko moria is still a good deck um just an opio 8 you i mean i haven't seen one top at all but I know if I don't put this on here, people are going to start bitching. And I mean, it's still a good deck. I, but right now, OPO8, I haven't even seen it win at all. So if anything, I'll have to put it at the back of C. It has no toppings at all. It has no showings at all. I don't even think it's even in the top, like, 16 when they do the, the, the deck breakdowns on YouTube and shit. So, you know, I feel like it's still a good deck. But maybe, it, I don't know, maybe it's just not popular. Maybe that's just what the reason is. Or maybe just Lucci's a little bit better. Next deck we have is uh you know white beard you can never go wrong with white beard white beard red never got any support it still hasn't got any support white beard i still like it's still in c i don't think it's at b because it's so predictable there hasn't really been any support but it's still topping it still has tournament winning so you can't knock the deck that's winning and i if it was my opinion i have to put it at the top of c it can even be in the, the back of b fam so i mean it really just depends but i'll just put it at the top of c right now next deck we have is by far the best deck in the format and i just have to talk to you guys about this deck here real quick if you are playing rp law right now i think it might be time for you to drop the deck we are having a bam list getting ready to be released in two to three weeks for the east and usually nine times out of ten when they ban something in the east we get that same exact type of conversion over here and if that does happen and like for instance like the sakazuki ban how opl7 started and we didn't even have sakazuki compared to when the east was playing they did have sakazuki if you are a rp law player there are no major tournaments this month there might be a couple next month but after those major tournaments i think it might be time for you to drop this deck i feel like they're going to destroy this deck this deck has won every single major tournament in the east right now in opo8 it's just the fact that you know all the new purple cards not really all the new purple cards it's black maria just pushed this deck to a whole different level i think there's been like 10 or 11 <laughs> uh i think it was like tournaments 10 of them were all rp law and only one other deck that has actually beaten rp law in the finals is rob lucci so you know if i was look if i was a betting man i'm gonna tell you right now 
it's time for you to drop RP Law. They're about to murder this thing. In my opinion, if you guys are wondering what I think they're going to ban, I feel like they're going to ban the leader. And they also are going to ban Gordon because it is a promotional card. I don't feel like they're going to be banning anything else when it comes to RP Law. I feel like they're just going to ban the leader because it limits card design. Pretty much what it is. It limits card design. You can't print anything else without you thinking about RP Law. Kind of like Sakazuki. So if they are continuing that trend, I feel like this leader will get banned. Then it will get a rod of maybe in another structure deck so if you guys are playing rp law i think it might be time to jump ship after you're done going to your regionals because in two or three weeks this deck is about to get murdered into the ground so if i was a better man get rid of this deck this deck will be banned it is in tier zero right now but like i said when opo opo8 comes over to us we will be having the ban list in effect so i think it might be time to ban or just just to drop this deck in general so Let's go ahead and continue. Next deck we have is Perona. I feel like Perona is still a very, very strong deck. A lot of people sleep on Perona. I feel like Perona is the best sleeper deck in the whole entire meta. Fact, not an opinion. There's so many different combo lines and being able to lock down your opponent and with board removal with the black side and be able to have a whole bunch of draw and resting with the green side. I feel like this is, I honestly feel like this is one of the best decks in the game. One of the best sleeper decks, especially underneath the skill pilot very very good deck and i still think it belongs in b right here brazy we got pudding pudding it's good you could cheat out a whole bunch of bigger characters such as all the new purple cards and purple yellow kaido you could cheat out the uh 10 drop lin lin the seven drop lin lin i mean the eight drop. i think it's the eight drop purple lin lin so there's a lot of support i feel like i personally feel like this deck is a lot better than what the tournament results show i feel like it may be right here but we're just talking about tournament results tournament results I, i'm still gonna put it back here i'm still gonna put it back here i'll probably put it at the back of a very very strong deck in my opinion uh, i don't know why it doesn't really have too many other topics oh i know it's because rp law is so broken nobody wants to play uh you know laker pudding so very very strong deck uh, nothing there's really nothing much more i need to say about this uh caligara i feel like caligari is still i feel like caligari is the best b deck if you are a skilled pilot and you actually know how to play Calgary, Calgary reminds me of like a Blue Dofi or RP Law. It just spams the field with monsters, monsters, monsters just to overwhelm the opponent. I played against this deck a couple of times. If you guys want to see a how to beat series on that, let me know. But just from my experience, this deck is very strong underneath the right pilot. It pretty much just rushes the board while getting life back. I really do like that. But like I said earlier, this requires a skilled pilot to play. So very, very good option. If guys want a deck list i don't got one for you so can't help you there but very very good deck i feel like it might still be the top of b it just requires skill pilot a lot of the decks we have in a1 you don't really need a skill pilot you just need to play your lines right compared to a lot of these other decks down here where this all these decks can be literally a1 but if you mess up once or twice more more than likely you're going to just lose the game that's why i say you need a skill pilot the best deck in a1 has to be Lucci. Like I said earlier, the only deck to win outside of RP Law is Rob Lucci. He has one win. Everything else, when it comes to all the major tournaments, RP Law is taking it over. Um, Rob Lucci did get some new support with King. I think I'm pretty sure it was King and a couple of the new black cards. But Rob Lucci is just a solid deck. I feel like it's still the best black deck. Some people might say Gecko Boria is still up there, but I still honestly think, in my opinion, Rob Lucci is still the best black deck in the format. Fact, not an opinion. It was the only deck to take off one championship series from RP Law. And I mean, when you look at all the other decks that we're talking about, you know, this solo mono black deck counters a lot of these other decks as well. So very, very strong deck. Boa does have a top, but I'm gonna keep it real with you. Boa is a worse version of Dofi. If I had to choose between these two, which one was better? I feel like Dofi has a little bit more flexibility. Boa is cool, but I'll always run Dofi. I'll put it in C right behind Whitebeard. It does have a top, but nothing too crazy. The next deck that is still very, very viable is Red Blue Marco. If you guys don't know about this deck, this deck will be taking you by storm when it comes out. Just being able to have a lot of big bodies on field, but like such a Silver's Rally being able to bottom deck with the blue size being able to have a lot of recursion with your blockers they have a look if you guys don't know anything about marco they have a blocker to where every time it gets removed you just ditch your card out of your hand and you get to summon it back from the trash 
very very good deck very very good meta deck it does have a few topping lists as well it did win really really often so very very good deck i'm a fan of it i don't play it because it's not yellow but if you are a red blue type of fan this is also a strong deck as well but like i said earlier this is one of those decks that you need to know what you're doing i you can really tell the difference compared to a good red blue marco player compared to someone that has no clue what they're doing so you know that's just my opinion on marco very very solid next deck we have is katakuri katakuri has been showing up a lot more recently i don't know why i mean katakuri is still really good i feel like i put it in the back of b it does have a couple of win. i think it has tops i don't think it won but it won actually it did win it actually did win it won, it won two tournaments and after that it still had some more tournament showings katakuri is still a very very good deck i would still i'll probably put it like right here i don't know why a lot of people are sleeping on katakuri being able to attack for 7k is very very strong and you know you can't really go wrong with a 10 drop linden okay i mean even now in opo 8 10 drop linden is still very very strong so if you are a category fan you keep on playing that deck because that deck's gonna be solid still in opo 8 next deck we have is bonnie um body kind of fell off a little bit i might put it behind uh calgara Still very very strong deck being able to lock down the field having some draw being able to rest pretty much having a built-in capone effect every time you do try to well your opponent tries to attack very very strong deck i think it just lost popularity with all the new cards that we've gotten but still really strong deck you do need to pile it a little bit you know a little bit more compared to any of these other decks but still really really strong deck i don't think it's a anymore i feel like it's right behind calgara and yeah that's all i got with that so the next deck and this is probably one of my favorite decks to play against and just to watch in motion has to be purple kaido purple kaido with all the new purple support is actually one of the best and funnest decks to watch in my opinion i feel like it may be the best purple deck out there besides rp law but we're not really going to count this deck i feel like purple kaido with all the new support black maria Ten drop kaido i think it's a nine drop kaido linlin still i think it's kaido linlin or linlin but besides the fact kaido very very strong being able to ramp out all your boss monsters fast as hell being able to trash one of your opponent's life <laughs> i mean with seven down it's very very strong and it's also beautiful to watch when you're watching a skilled kaido player it, it's actually just like watching magic right in front of your face man so one of the best decks out there in opo 8 it requires you to be a very very skilled pilot if you make a couple of mishaps here and there you will lose the game but just to keep it a stack i feel like this is the best purple deck moving forward into opo 8 and yeah, man, I really have nothing else to say about Kaido. Very, very fun deck to watch and to play. Um, this deck right here, black, yellow, Luffy, very, still very, very strong. Depending on what happens, the ban list, this deck will still be strong. If, if Gecko Morio does get hit, this deck goes from right here all the way probably down to right here. I feel like nobody will be playing this. But as it sits right now, black, yellow, Luffy is still one of the best decks in the format. I feel like it even has more toppings than an L. Um... But yeah, I mean, really nothing else I need to talk to you guys about this. Black Yellow Luffy's always been a always been a deck. Okay, it's time to talk about the most boring deck ever. I'm not going to roast it because I'm not even going to waste my time with this deck because they waste my time while I'm playing. So I'm not going to talk too much about this deck. This deck is still pretty solid. Boring deck. It did actually get more support in OPO8, which is definitely unfortunate. I have to put it right here. You don't really see too many toppings with this deck at the moment, but still a very, very strong deck. And yeah, I feel like it probably be like probably like around probably like right here actually but yeah y'all this is the tier list so far when it comes to opo8 i'll be have another tier list when we get closer to opo8 because we will be getting a ban list in the east in two or three weeks so a lot of things on this list will probably be adjusted or fixed or even just off the list such as rp law like i said earlier about rp law y'all rp law is going to get destroyed y'all could go ahead and kick and scream and say all this other bullshit y'all want to say as time has shown bandai doesn't want none of these tier zero decks to where you have to have, they have to actually print cards around they're going to ban this card they're going to ban this leader um just just so so when it actually happens just make sure you're ready and once this deck gets banned, I feel like a lot of these other decks are going to be able to shine and we will actually really have a tier list because right now where it sits, 
we have six decks right here in A1, and we have all these decks. I mean, almost all these decks are all on the same level. This deck is just the one that's overwhelming. So, you know, it is what it is. This is my personal opinion on an OPO8 tier list. Let me know below what you guys think. But yeah, man, that's all I got. But look, before I go, if you was feeling the vibes, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm gone.